The sacroiliac joint can often cause lower back pain, but the sacroiliac ligaments can also cause pain. So how do you tease out which is the actual problem? Today we're going to talk about how to confidently determine which is the source of pain and uh, and then with that, you can move forward with the proper treatment. Seeking out medical care for lower back pain can be a frustrating process. Often you get multiple different diagnoses for the uh, same condition from different providers. Uh, anything from piriformis syndrome to radiculitis, muscle strain, muscle spasm. So often when you go see a provider, they'll begin to formulate a differential diagnosis of what the source of pain may be. So they'll take information like your history that you provide, how it was injured, and what it feels like when it hurts, what makes it feel better. And also physical exam, there's different maneuvers that can help tease out uh, what the source of pain may be. Uh, patients with sacroiliac pain sometimes will have a preceding injury, like a lifting injury, car accident, or a fall onto the pelvis. Uh, pain is often localized below the belt line. There are a variety of physical exam maneuvers to help pinpoint the location of pain and, and point toward the direction of the sacroiliac joint. Uh, none of these uh, exam maneuvers are 100% diagnostic, uh, but they can help point us in the direction of the sacroiliac joint and sacroiliac ligaments, and maybe point us away from other structures like the intervertebral discs or the facet joints or the nerve root. Even after gathering the history and physical exam, the, uh, we have a differential diagnosis, and most of the times it's still not 100% certain of uh, the actual underlying diagnosis or, or pain generator. So if we're suspicious of the SI joint, we still don't really know if this is the actual joint itself or is it the supporting ligaments, the sacroiliac ligaments that are more of the uh, source of pain. So the next step that I would take would be a diagnostic test. Uh, we would set up a, an intra-articular sacroiliac joint injection under fluoroscopy to be 100% sure we're in the joint. We put an anesthetic into the joint and if the sacroiliac joint is the source of pain, we'd expect to see significant relief at least 75-80% relief uh, for the duration of the anesthetic. If we did that and there was not a significant improvement, then we could rule out the sacroiliac joint as a source of pain. Uh, for the sacroiliac ligament, I'll do a provocation test where I'll put the needle right into the ligament and work it along the, and work it along the length of the ligament. And if it reproduces the same pain and the same referral pattern, then we can confidently say, okay, that's the pain generator. Sometimes we'll put an anesthetic in uh, just to give us a secondary confirmation that that's the problem spot. So through these diagnostic tests, we can determine which is the actual pain generator, whether it's the actual uh, sacroiliac joint or the sacroiliac ligaments. Once we have the accurate diagnosis, then we can make the appropriate treatment as the treatments for uh, sacroiliac, sacroiliac ligament versus the sacroiliac joint can uh, vary uh, significantly. We'll talk more on another time about the different treatment options for the sacroiliac ligaments as well as the sacroiliac joints. Until next time.